she doing? You're just gonna stare at me? Do you have anything to say? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so tired. We've had a lot going on here, like really, really good stuff. Um, my sister-in-law Molly came to visit, that was awesome. I've never gotten to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Molly, so I was really excited for the opportunity to do it. And we had such a good time, at least I had such a good time. Maybe she went home and was like, thank God. <laughs> thank God I'm out of that house. But from my perspective, it was a really, really good visit. We got to like, actually chat and stuff. It was the same when Nancy came out, my other sister-in-law. It was the same when Nancy came out. I felt like for the first time I got to have like really long conversations with Nancy. So yeah, it was really, really nice. I love opportunities like that to, to really deep dive conversation with people that like you feel close to, but you haven't gotten to really talk with, you know? It was really, really nice. So she was here for a few days and she loved Clark and Clark loved her. Clark was like obsessed with Molly. There was one time in the morning where Molly like came downstairs and was hanging out with her a little bit and was like, okay, I'm gonna take a shower and went upstairs and Clark lost it, was like screaming. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> but um, Clark overall has been kind of a nightmare the last, like ever since the last Vlogmas really. Um, not really sleeping, really bad separation anxiety. Like if we put her down, she loses her mind. And everyone was like, this is a stage they just go through and it'll be fine. And today was the first day that felt like she's coming out of it. Um, like today we were able to put her in the playpen and she, she stood up and stared at us a lot, but she didn't like scream. She didn't freak out. Um, she's gotten a lot better at sitting, like when she's standing, she can now sit down out of it. So I think she panics less when she's been standing for a while. Um, we've been putting her in the walker and she'll just like walk around the room. She doesn't need to like walk to us and just stand there, you know, like lots of, lots of good signs for her independence wise. So we were really happy about that. Um, but we're still working on her sleep schedule. She's just like not taking naps. She's napping right now. So hopefully I'm not jinxing myself by being like, she's napping, I could make a video. <laughs> and if that's the case, and suddenly uh, the light is different in here or something, um, or I've changed shirts because she vomited on me, those sorts of things, you'll know she woke up at some point. Also, if you hadn't noticed, I, uh, did my hair today, which was a delight, and I can finally fulfill my dreams of doing a Thranduil cosplay. I was trying to think of when the last time was that my hair was this light, was like really, really light blonde. It was a while ago, maybe like four years, right? At least three, maybe four, I'm not sure. But it's been a, it's been a decent amount of time. My hair feels really healthy. I think it looks really nice. And you can play a game with your friends where uh, you'll find out whether or not a person has good perception of detail if they look at this video and they're like, I don't see anyone there because let's be real, I blend in with the background now. <laughs> but today I have a very special activity for us. My hair is done. And so this is the most powerful I'm going to feel because whenever you bleach your hair, literally within a day, you start to see your roots. So, um, I've had multiple friends tell me, you know, what makes me feel powerful is when I give myself really intense eyebrows. And so I thought today of all days, oh, she's here. So another thing that blends in with the background, I thought today of all days would be perfect for me to, for the first time in my life, try to give myself really intense eyebrows. Cause I've never done it before. Literally when I do like do my eyebrows, I just kind of fill them in a little bit cause they're sort of like sparse, right? Like I've got these sort of natural like cut marks in here and like, they're just, there's just not a whole lot going on there. So sometimes I'll just like darken them up so that they exist on my face. Um, but I've never done like, <laughs> so I think it's time. I don't have my phone though. I need, I need a tutorial. I need some kind of a tutorial of some sort, or at least to look at like different types. I even um, bought some like eyebrow stuff. I really like NYX, so I just bought NYX stuff. I got, I got um, a micro brow pencil. 
I got tinted brow mascara. Maybe some of these are the same thing. I don't know. And I got build em up powder filler. <laughs> uh, so there's all that stuff. And I already had this brush that I've never used before that also has one of these thingies on it. So I'm pretty sure I have three of those <laughs> now. And then I, and then th this whole thing. But I doubt I'm gonna need this because I have these other, all this other, I don't even know what all of this is for. We'll figure it out. You know when like there's a thing that pops up and there's an X and you're like, all right, hit the X and make it go away. And it just won't go away. <laughs> so we can go straight, curved, soft arch, high arch, S shape, or upward. Mm, got all those. I feel like this is the high arch, this one right here. If we wanna like truly power play, either, either the high arch, right? I don't think I can even perform that with the eyebrow that I have, or just straight blocks. <laughs> To just be like, I don't care. <laughs> I guess it all depends on what what shape I already kind of have, right? I could maybe pull off a soft arch, maybe. Like, like it would be like block, 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 and then, right? Block, block, block. I think that that's how that would go. Hmm. We're just going to go for it. Okay, let's open these things. They're all NYX. All of the stuff that I got is NYX because I just generally like them. Um... And also that way I didn't have to go to any other areas. I could just be like, there's the NYX stuff. <laughs> and then just buy everything that said eyebrow on it. Although I didn't do that. Um, I bought everything that said eyebrow on it, except for like the eyebrow pot. Because I was like, if I'm gonna get this many little brushes and shit, I hope that I don't need also <laughs> like a, a pot of eyebrow stuff. <laughs> But who knows, I might be very, very wrong. Also, I deliberated for a really long time because I just lightened up my hair. I was like, do I try to get like light eyebrow stuff? Do I get dark eyebrow stuff? What do I do? So I just kind of tried to find stuff that was a little... I tried to find stuff that was like close-ish to my actual eyebrows. And for the first time in my life, I get to use this compact that my mom bought me a while ago that says, though she may be little, she is fierce with a dragonfly on it. Thank you, Bitty Shakes. Oh my God. You know, if I had thought ahead, I also would have tweezed. I still could. I think, I think Sam has tweezed. Isn't that sad? I don't have no idea if I have tweezers or not anywhere. Pretty sure Sam got like a, like a kit that had tweezers in it. Don't you close it? Um, I'm gonna see if I can find them. Every time I record with OBS, I wind up thinking to myself, what if I accidentally hit start streaming instead of start recording? And this whole time I've been streaming myself trying to record a video. Wouldn't that be just the weird, wouldn't that be so weird to watch? You're like, does, she, does she know? <laughs> anyway, all right, sure. Yeah, you wanna watch me pluck my eyebrows? Let's do it, bam. I don't ever really pluck my eyebrows. Not because I hate doing it or anything, just when I was younger, um, anytime I tried to shave, like my armpits, my legs, anything, um, I would break out into this terrible rash. And I'm not about to tell you that I was like trying to shave my eyebrows, but it, it all links together, I swear. So <laughs> I was on like dance team and stuff. And I really just wanted to be able to get rid of my underarm hair. That was the only thing that I really cared about. Um, if I wasn't doing some sort of an activity like that, where I was having to wear tank tops all the time, I probably wouldn't have cared. But you know, when you're in high school, everybody like, mentions it and I was just like I don't <laughs> I just want to get rid of it right so my mom the lady who was doing her nails at the time also did waxing so my mom was like oh maybe you should try waxing your underarms it'll hurt and it might still break out but it's like worth a try so I did and it actually didn't hurt that bad and she was like I can also you know at the same time like 
if you want me to do your eyebrows and stuff, I can. If you want me to do your legs, I can. Like, whatever you want. And I was like, okay, cool. Because it lasts for a while, right? When you wax it, like, the whole thing comes out. Um, and it created a situation where uh, after I had been waxing for a few years, I tried shaving for the first time and was totally fine. And I don't know if it's because waxing, like, strengthened up the skin or something weird like that or if it was like um that I just got older and like my hormones changed or what it was but all I do know is that I went from being in excruciating pain when I tried to shave to no pain at all which was awesome and my eyebrow hair just like doesn't really come back in um, my mom said the same thing happened to her. Like, sh she just hit a point where, like, her hair just stopped bothering to grow. And the same thing happened with mine. It only took, like, a few years of waxing them. And then my eyebrows are basically the same all the time. Like, I think the last time that I even bothered tweezing them, and I don't wax them anymore. The last time that I bothered tweezing them was, like, two years ago. Maybe a little bit longer than that. Oh, gosh, the lighting in here is not... Ideal. Do you like this this technique? Mm. I've also found, in regarding to like tweezing and waxing and all of that, because I've tried to wax myself. You can never wax yourself as well as somebody else can wax you because they don't have the anticipation of pain. But it seems like for some reason, nobody else can ever tweeze you as easily as you can tweeze yourself. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Like, at least in my experience. Like, I'm, I've never had somebody, like, tweeze my eyebrows. Or sometimes when you're waxing your armpit hair or whatever, there's, like, one hair left. So there's no point in re-waxing it, right? The cats are just, like, jumping up here. Yes, hello. Hi. Um, so they'll tweeze it, right? And there's always, like, they just don't commit hard enough. They commit really well to waxing. But they don't commit hard enough to the tweezing. I don't know what that's all about, but there you go. You guys are making me so nervous. What is it? What are you even looking at? Okay, so we're gonna go, I really wanna go high arch, but I just don't think my eye, my natural eyebrow shape is gonna put up with that. So we'll go soft arch. And I don't know, you know what? I think it'll just be better if we don't look up how to do it and if we just go for it. Agreed, great. So. Okay, all right, here's like a pencil, but I'm just gonna like plot it out. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna plot out the shape that we're going for here. Mm, yes, good. <laughs> this is so stupid. How do people do this without looking like an idiot? Okay, let's do the other eyebrow first, because I can't. <laughs> Okay, so, soft, so, 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 soft. How big do we normally need to go? Like that big? Bigger? Oh yeah, there we go. That's the good shit. <laughs> okay, we've got, <laughs> we've got starting marks, y'all. So then it's like, yeah, oops, shit. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay. We got, we got there, and then we, and then it, bam, <laughs> bu -bu bam <laughs> and bu -bu bam right? <laughs> How do you fill in, like, like, the fleshy bits and have it not look stupid? I swear to God, I'm gonna pick up my daughter when she wakes up, and she's gonna be like, I'm starting to understand why. People always joke about how long it takes to do eyebrows. Okay, up to like there, right? And then kabam, 
Cubba bubba hubba bubba bubble day. <laughs> I look like an anime villain. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sure, that looks like the right color, maybe. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm adopting a strat. Kind of. If I like push my hairs up just a little bit, then they sort of naturally fill in the fleshy bits, right? <laughs> this is a powder? Why does it why is it jingling? Oh shit, it is it, whoa, it is. Oh, whoa. I'm not gonna have that, like, beautiful brushy look at the- <laughs> Oh my god. How does anybody get the, like, Jesus Christ? <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, that really shocked me. <laughs> god, eyebrows really can make you look like a completely different person. It's, like, really weird. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this look good. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, there's the, yeah, that's the good shit. <laughs> wow, y'all, like, if you're good at doing this, you have my props. Great. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> it is, so, wow, these are so intense, these eyebrows. Calm down. Calm it down just a little bit. I feel like this side, not too bad. This side, really intense. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> look like the lead singer of the newest boy band. And I'm fine with it. I still don't entirely understand what the benefit of all these things are. This is a pencil, I do get that. Oh, with this thingy on it, that's right. Hi, can I help you? So here's the real question. If I do like the rest of my makeup, will I look insane? Also, will my daughter recognize me? Do I go like hard lip? I don't think so. I feel like my eyebrows are my lips now. Hi, how are you? Can't you see I'm trying to be a beauty guru? Sherlock? Yeah. Blend, blend it or whatever. Put some on the side and like in the crease and stuff. Oh, I didn't do eyeliner. Well, too late now. Off oh, the fuck. <gasps> I do, I feel it now. What do you think, kitties? Do I look like a, a powerful madam? Well, this was a fun adventure we went on. They don't match at all. They're a disaster, I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you've had an amazing day. Um, maybe I'll see you tomorrow, and I'm gonna go uh, feed my baby dinner. Cha-ching! I don't know why I made a money sound, because the true money, the true fortune in my life is her smile. Okay, bye. <laughs> I, can't, I can't look at myself.